December 2nd, council meets your order. I'll ask Councilman Woods, would you give us the case, please? Yes, sir. Let us pray. Our Father, God in heaven, we thank you for life, health, and strength. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day, a day you let us see, a day in which we've never seen before, and certainly a day that we will never see again. And Heavenly Father, as we enter into this meeting tonight, these deliberations, we want to ask that the things that we do and say, even the thoughts that we think, be pleasing in your sight. And when we from, depart from this place, we want to ask you to have a, give us safe mercy and travel back to our residences. These and many other blessings we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay, at this time we have approved the minutes of public care and, and regular council meeting of November 19th. So moved. Okay. Move and second that we approve any questions. No questions. All in favor say aye. 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 Nathan, say nay. No. Ordinance. Uh, third, no third reason, no second reason. We do have a uh, first reason on uh, ordinance 2019-13, and order to amend the uh, agreement of development of a joint county industrial park executed on April 24, 1995 by and between Berkeley County, South Carolina and Williamsburg County, South Carolina for the development of a jointly owned and operated industrial business park so as to include additional property in Berkeley County as part of the joint county industrial park and the other matters related to the chair of motion for first reading. So I will move our uh, motion in the first reading, so be it be. At this hour, this time, it will be supervisor report and uh, the employee of the month will admit that at this time because we're not able to be here so at the next council meeting we'll probably place it back on the agenda. Our parents at this time would be uh, Robert Wells, director of Bali. Thank you so much council. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be here this evening on behalf of our senior citizens to talk about the exciting Murdoch Center project and the future for vital aging and senior services for Williamsburg County. We thank you for all the support that you've given our agency over the years. And we are, you should have in your packet this evening, you should have two letters. Uh, one letter um, is addressed to the Honorable Tiffany Wright and the uh, other letter is having to do more with costs. Do you see two letters in your packet? Just one, okay. Um, well, the letter that you see there having to do with um, the Murdoch Center project specifically is a letter that was um, hashed out by our facilities committee earlier in the year and um, approved by our board of directors and submitted to Dr. Wright. Um, basically what we're asking, I wanna give you a little bit of update before I get to where I need to be. I wanted to let you know that um, Everything is really on track as far as uh, the Murdoch Center project at this time. As you're aware, uh, Williamsburg County government has been awarded a grant by the South Carolina Department of Commerce for the demolition of the old Kelly Hospital. And uh, Ms. Jessie Walker is working with your grants team here to implement um, the demolition. At this point, they're working on the environmental services portion of it and uh, they hope to soon announce a, a winning bid on an environmental contractor, which will begin a study of the property for any issues related to the property that may need remediation. Um, and those issues, once identified, will be included into the demo grant uh, through Commerce. Um, leading up to the demolition, um, as part of the grant, uh, we cannot own the property, vital aging, cannot own the property when it comes to the actual demolition. Um, when it comes to the actual demolishing of the building, it needs to be owned by Williamsburg County government. It needs to be transferred to Williamsburg County government. Your predecessor to uh, Dr. Wright, uh, agreement was executed on September the 8th. You should have a copy from prior of that agreement. 
that stipulates as far as um, how, what will happen at the time of transfer, that we need access like to our freezer, we'll maintain the property as far as cutting the grass and what we've done for years. Um, and we will maintain the insurance on the freezer side. But leading up to the big picture, as far as the Murdoch Center project is concerned, what we're asking for y'all to do, as momentum builds with this project, and I do expect some announcements to come forward on this project shortly, um, we need your help to build a building on the house to say it. And this, of course, will be a multi-purpose facility. We have, uh, through a USDA RD grant, we have been awarded um, pre-planning monies. And we have selected an architect, some of y'all may already be familiar with, Mr. Dan Saltrick of Buford Design Build. I think he's done some work for the county in the past. And he's hard at work right now. We had two very good programming meetings in uh, mid-November that were very <coughs> successful. And he's coming back actually tomorrow at two o'clock at the King Street Center to present his findings as far as a conceptual on the Murdoch Center project. Um, I, I would be remiss, and I know I'm exceeding my three minutes, but I would be remiss if I did not recognize our King Street seniors that are here this evening. If y'all could please stand. And I want to thank them for coming out. These are ladies that come every day to the center. We do have a board member I see present. I'm going to ask him to stand, if you would, our, our sheriff. Thank you for your service. Um, so the demand is huge for what we do. This population segment, as was coming to a councilman earlier today, earlier this evening, is the fastest growing population segment of Williamsburg County. When I started this job in 2008, it was roughly 18.9% US census data, 60 plus of the population. Today, as I stand here now, July 1st numbers indicate your population is 29%, 60 plus and growing every day, growing every year. We need to be equipped to handle the demands, the demands for home delivered meals, congregate dining, homemaker services, transportation, evidence-based programming such as physical fitness exercises, craft activities, and things that we, we work on the whole person. We try to make them healthy and happy at home so they have better options. They don't have to go to the nursing home as quickly. They don't have to have long-term care. Um, that's what vital aging is all about. That summarizes what we do. What I'm asking you this evening, um, this letter is presented to you. We are asking for your help as we march forward with this process, um, with the environmental phase, and eventually we'll have results from that environmental phase. And then we need to formulate an agreement with y'all, and we do ask, uh, as you look at number eight, the terms are outlined there in number eight, but we're asking for a 30 year term, and we're asking for help with the operational costs of that facility. We're asking you for help with that. I was hoping you would have got that rejected financial letter, and I apologize to you, Councilman, this evening that that was not provided to you, but that will be provided to you. That gives you projected costs based upon square footage of what we're talking about, you know, as far as operational costs. That will be provided to you when I get back in the office tomorrow. Um, is there any questions that you may have? What, what you are asking the council so far, the county, some financial assistance and the operational pays Correct. Okay. What I'm asking your, actually, what I'm asking your assistance, Councilman Woods, are twofold. As we march forward on the big picture to get this building built, we are going to need Williamsburg County's full-fledged assistance to get this building built and lease it back to the entity, vital agent, on a long-term lease of 30 years and help us with the operational costs. That pretty much is a summation of what this letter is talking about. Okay. Any questions or comments? Mr. Webster, I don't, you may, we don't have a le the letter you're referring to. I don't think we have it in our package, either letter. So if you could give us a summation of exactly, maybe a couple of numbers or something, we're not. I 
We probably have seen it, but it's not before us at this time. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Let me get you to digest that letter. <laughs> Thank you, Councilman Floyd. And the projected cost letter is attached to it. So let me just pause for a minute. See the page two, Councilman McKnight. That was a projected on a monthly cost. On a month. Okay. Yes, sir. And that is the purely a projection. And we base that upon the site that we have presently in operation, both admin and senior center. So if that was to be the case, but you actually would have kind of to subsidize part of that? Correct. Part or full. I'm quite sure you're not asking for, 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 for action to be taken on tonight, right? No, sir. We are talking about the big picture. And our board of directors felt that why we were having this discussion about a lease agreement, mm -hmm. that it was the appropriate time to ask at least for the assistance in helping us get the big picture done. The building built, the building lease back to the a entity and assistance with the costs of running this operation, okay. the operational as far as the building costs. Okay, we understand that because that'd be a budgetary item that has to be put. Sure, and if there are any other subsequent meetings with building committees or such uh, that, that I need to attend or bring more information, I'm here at your disposal. Okay. okay. Thank you, Councilman. I appreciate your time. It's quick to me as well. Yes. But who did you say the, the, the firm was that you had to The firm right now, uh, let me qualify this statement. This is for pre-planning purposes only. Okay. It's Buford Design Build, Mr. Dan Saltrick. Captain me. Okay. And uh, he is getting together a concept. It'll be 3D. It'll be a site plan. It'll be a floor plan. It'll be square footage. And uh, I can report to you that we had two very successful meetings. Uh, one with staff and your maintenance folks attended, Mr. Parker. And it, their input was most invaluable to that architect, what they had to say. And then I might add this wonderful crowd behind me, right here. They packed the house two days later. 28 seniors. 28 seniors. We put the architect in the middle, and we got a U. And they went at it for about an hour and a half with them, tell them what they wanted in the building. Uh, so it was great input. It was a wonderful process. We're looking forward to the final product, which we'll bring to you so you can see it. Okay? okay. Any other comments? I have any questions for Rob? Councilman, I apologize for the letter oversight. I want to say it is truly an honor and privilege to be before you this evening. We thank you for all that you do to help senior citizens, not only for vital aging, but throughout the county. It's so important. Yeah, and I thank you. We thank you for all that you are doing. All right. Thank God you. bless. Well, Appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Uh, at this time, I admit I didn't say it. Uh, well, the supervisor wasn't here. I want to say that the supervisor was not here tonight because she had a late appointment. She thought she would have been back on time, but you know how those appointments run, and, and uh, she wasn't able to get back in time, so that's why I'm here chairing the meeting. But everything is well with her. Just want to let you know that. Uh, next on the uh, agenda, we are asking the yeah, employees to ask them for the 24 to be off uh, on Christmas Eve day. The automatic year for uh, 25th, 26th, and the 27th. Uh, but they're back for the 24th to be off uh, this year. And I would say that one of the things that's uh, kind of pressing, we normally give a Christmas uh, bonus. <coughs> normally doing every Christmas for the last year. I can't remember when last we didn't give one, and uh, some has been more than, and some has been less. 
but I think at this time, uh, due to the fact that we will not be giving employees uh, Christmas bonus, uh, maybe it would be more than fair to just skip them that extra day off. I don't believe it'd be that much going on on Christmas Eve that people be running in here to pay taxes and stuff like that. But that's the wishes for county council, whatever they decide to do. I was mean, that I'm, I'm totally in favor of that because as you just stated, we, we normally give them a bonus, plus they've gotten a cost of living increases. And this year, because of the financial crunch you're in, we won't be getting any of those things. So I think uh, it's good for morale and the well it's just good <coughs> Uh, good faith uh, that we go ahead and um, award them that Christmas Eve off because I don't think too many people are going to be coming in to pay any taxes or anything else or take care of any kind of business too much on Christmas Eve. So I'm in favor of that. I offer a motion that we go ahead and approve that. I second. Just move and second that we authorize the 24th of December as the extra day for the county employees. Any questions? Question, Mr. Chairman? Yes. What are the normal days off? What are the, what are the normal days off? The normal days would have been 24, 25th, 26th, and 27th. Christmas Day and then Thursday, Friday? Yes. And they're asking for what, Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday, Christmas Eve day. That's four days for Christmas? Four days. And I, I think, uh, Four days was uh, the Lena Moore's council talked about it. Lena Moore's award that because we were not able to give a bonus to the employees this year, no uh, increase as a incentive. But this is us in wishes of council what you decide. A motion is on the floor. That's the same. Is there any question? Any other question? Not all in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed and nay. No. Okay. Aye. Happy. All right. Next we have uh, cancellation of our next county council meeting would be on uh, the seventeenth. And as it stand now, we don't have nothing present for our on the seventeenth the next council meeting. And if of county council, we would go ahead and, and uh, just admit that we wouldn't have that meeting in, in the 17th and have a place on our next county council meeting, which would be the regular county council meeting of December, I mean, of January. Uh, what the wishes of council on that? And unless something come up present, then we would call a special call meeting. Always call special call me that something come up and if not, then we would not have our 17th meeting. Get a motion? So move second. Move and second that we cancel the 17th of no uh, December meeting and let it go to the first of January meeting. Uh move and second any question. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay aye pass. Uh that's all on the agenda. Is there anything else come before council from any member of the council? <coughs> if not, we take a motion of the motion to adjourn. So second. Move and second. Adjourn. So we adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> Put a car on the